this is a weird one. Maybe one of the weirdest ones. We're currently sat in Heathrow Airport, Terminal 3. It's Friday, 20th of January, 2023. And I'm jetting off to have a match with Battle Club Pro in New York against Sir Wilkins. That's right. He of Jobber Tears. We've been planning this for like three years. And now it's happening. The only reason it didn't happen. Two, three years, whatever it was, it's just the pandemic. And just because life is super duper weird, not only am I about to jet off, have a match aboard, which was the coolest thing ever. We're going to document it and I'm going to get as much footage as possible until I forget. <laughs> which is what I always do. But I always have a documentary crew following me around. I know. Don't ask questions. Don't get answers. That's how I <laughs> actually, you know how everybody says, ask questions, get answers. No, don't ask questions. Don't get answers. It's really, really weird. It's really, really strange. However, I would do my own mini documentary. And of course, when that documentary is a thing, I'll tell you how to get it. But yes, sit back and enjoy. Simon Miller goes to New York to be a wrestler. How the flap. Just realized you may be wondering, now it stops. You may be wondering, what is this weird rock band? <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was someone just walking through Heathrow Airport, banging a drum. That's what I want first thing in the morning <laughs> before I go away. If I come to the airport and someone's not banging the drum, what's even the point? Then we arrive. Ten hours later, whatever it is, because the flight was so delayed. I tell you this: look at me, my hood on my hand. Everyone tells me, "Oh, Brit's so cold. Nothing's cold in New York." <laughs> In January, I'm British. I'm used to sub-zero temperatures. This is freezing. I'm pretty damn pumped. There is uh, there's JFK Airport. Should you so uh, should you so care? So far, so good. So now we're heading to the weigh-in. That's right. They've gone all out, which I appreciate. And a SmackDown watching party, which is good for me because I got to record ups and downs. So I can just sit there and make notes, and I'll film it. I'll film it later. And everyone always asks me about that. They say, "Oh, Simon, you just do, how do you just do ups and downs? You just do it." That's the job, man. I always said, like, if you're going to do it every single show, as best as you can, you have to commit to and get it done. So we'll just find a whole way and we'll do it there. Uh, some exciting stuff coming with ups and downs soon as well, which we can talk about uh, as and when it, it, it's all good to go. A few little changes coming to keep the show fresh. But yeah, so we'll go to the way and I'll make sure I record that. We'll stare off with Mr. Wilkins, Sir Wilkins, I should say. I don't want to take away his knighthood. And then we're good to go. Tomorrow, about Club Pro. Pretty damn pumped. I don't know how to say this, but i say it again. If you had told me this, even when I took my first bump in like 2016, yeah, that's right, that I would be flown over to New York to wrestle. I never would have believed you. And it, I'm going to be cheesy now, but it's all because of people like your good self watching this. So thank you very much, and let's do it. You're going to have me somewhere now. You're in the paper, brother. No! You're in the paper. You're in the paper. You're in the paper. All right, here we are in Brooklyn, New York. I'm just going to walk down here and record this for you. Hopefully you can hear me. A lot of noise going on here. So this is like about 11 o'clock. Show's at 4 p.m. We've got the announcer doing his talking, which is cool. Everyone has been super friendly. Hopefully I've got the footage of the weigh-in that we did last night. I'm going to try and get that for you. I wasn't able to record any because too much was going on. We're basically doing it in a school. I mean, look, you've got stuff up there. You've got a classic. If you're American, you don't care about this. I care about this. Is your exit. Multimedia lamp stuff going on with that and it, I always say this about wrestling it's really badass in the sense nine times out of ten you do turn up to these venues like how are we doing wrestling here look at me just looking around just a random cover how are we going to do wrestling here and then you do it and I think this place especially could be awesome because it's got low ceilings like yeah, the announcer's already going off and it's so damn loud so I think the pre-sales are good and there's a massive wrestling club coming with like 50 kids which is a cool thing they do out here in America to sort of you know, get people into wrestling at a young age should they want to do it so I'm excited about this. I need to get some food. I bought stuff on Uber Eats. You didn't need to know that. But we did. I forgot about taxes. So it cost me a fortune. So I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. The ring's looking good. The entrance is looking good. And I will keep you up to date as best as I possibly can. Later on. Not even that, though. In a bit. Because I'd rather talk to, talk to you about stuff that you actually want to know. Um, but I do think one of the most undervalued part of wrestling is how you present yourself on the internet, right? Because and I, I do think, you know, when you first start wrestling, the focus should be your wrestling, right? Too many people want to make merch, they want to come up with a character. And I get it, it's fun. You should do that stuff because it's motivating and you're like, oh man, that would be fun. But, you know, if you don't get the fundamentals right and you don't have the basics right, it's not going to work anyway, unless you're super duper lucky. That can happen, but it's probably not best to bet on yourself that way. 
However, the last yeah, one, WWE, they're constantly looking at that kind of stuff. And AEW will be as well, because if you have a bad rap on the internet, they're not going to want to. Oh, yeah, I think we, the milk bed start as long as we. Yeah. Yeah. When the crowd dies, right, there we go again. Okay. Okay. Smash that lock up. Yeah. Fight a little bit. Don't move too much. A little bit there, a little bit there. And then. I think whoever, so you can push me first, that's cool, or I can push you first, that's cool. But I think whoever pushes me, I think you should push me first. So, here we are. Sometimes the best time of a wrestling match, the calm before the storm. I got a lot of people up there, and I try and get footage as best I can, but there must be 400 plus. And because the, I wonder if you can hear it by coming here. I don't know that's going to pick up, but yeah, because it's like a, a school hall, like, it's just so damn loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm pumped, I'm excited. Me and Wilkins, as you saw, we've gone through the match. I'm excited for him. I hope he really enjoys it. And mainly, I'm just going out there to have fun. I saw that quote the other day by Jay Cargill, who's being trained by Daniel Bryan. And uh, Bryan Danielson, I should say. She was like, every time he, she comes back throughout the curtain, he just said, did you have fun? That's the most important thing. We've got to have fun. So I'm going to go out there, I'm going to have a good time. Whatever happens, happens. I think it's going to be a pumped up crowd, which is all I ever need. Live in the moment, smile on your face, Come back, eat a bagel, <laughs> whatever you want to eat. Also, I've had this, I didn't know, I didn't mention it, did I? I had this documentary crew follow me the, follow me the entire time as well. So I, I got distracted by uh, the amount of crowds going nuts into mission. I didn't know what's going up there. So, yeah, pumped, excited. I'll keep you, appreciate you watching. Sunday. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear me because I'm totally fine with my voice from yesterday. I got my bloated face. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. I couldn't have slept for more than three hours. 
combination of adrenaline, caffeine, which I don't often drink when I try and do it on these on these shows, so I'm always knackered. I just not sleeping. So we got up, found a gym that would let me in. Free pass as well, free, can't go around with free. I love a new gym. And that's, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. It's like oh, half seven in the morning or something. You think I'll be knackered, you think I'll be tired, and I am. That's why I'm retaining so much water because my cause out levels will be through the roof. But I love it, I love coming to a new gym. I find it fun, I find it exciting. It's called Blink Fitness. You watch this and you've been to Blink Fitness in Brooklyn. Shout out to you. I think we're gonna do back and buys today. Probably should be doing legs. It's not gonna happen. I am definitely that guy. JFK ready to go home. It's like half five in the morning. Look at my face, tiredest man ever. But like, <laughs> I'm slowly dying. But that was a cool weekend. That really was. I want to shout out my man Joe, put this together. I want to shout out obviously Sir Wilkes, screwed me over, but that's okay. I get my revenge when I make my big return. Just shout out to everyone at Battle Club Pro and Fallout their training center. These are nice guys, really nice guys. Had some really, really great chats. Uh, a lot of people said nice things. It always blows my brain, keeps me motivated. But we always talk about it. When people say good things to you, like, well, that's a, that's a cool thing to hear. Especially because sometimes when we're making the videos, I was getting nicer and nicer. It's people always talk about what culture and ups and downs. Love it. Awesome. You know, more and more people talk about the, the channel you're watching this on right now. They like the wrestling videos, like the fitness videos, like the general positive comments. And that's really cool because, you know, we've talked about it. You know, the channel is not doing as well as it once was. We're going to figure it out. You know, my, uh, my schedule has been so crazy. I haven't been as uh, consistent as you probably need to be. When you hear that, you remember, of course we need to make money in order to keep it going. It's not even, let's just be transparent and honest, you need money to do this stuff, you know. Otherwise you can't do it. But when you hear that, it reminds you why it's really cool to do. Because sometimes I make videos, I'm like, is there any worth in this? And then somebody will bring up something you've said in the video. So you're like, well, that's nice. And, and that's excellent. So thank you to everyone I met this weekend. You said kind words, kept me, uh, kept me in a positive mindset. I haven't slept for three days. We still got to the gym. We still got our cardio in. We still ate well. Literally, kept, kept my diet, kept on plan. You can do, you can do these things. It's not easy, I'm not saying that at all. It's really, really difficult. If you set your mind to it, make sure you plan in. You know, it's always good to have like, unless you're really on prep or something, but it's always good to have a cheat meal uh, in, your, in your diet once a week. And so even if you have that on a Saturday night, if you want to move it to a Sunday, you know, to keep yourself fueled over, depending on what you're doing, you can do that. So I think it is important uh, to put it in. The last thing I'll say is, we talked about a different video. It's my catchphrase, that is drinking way less caffeine in 2023 because I think you can just go way overboard with it. On this trip, I was like, well, I'll, I'll reintroduce it just to keep me going. American coffee is hilarious. <laughs> it's like drinking rocket fuel. I love it. 